The Mini Rev by Chocovision. These are the external parts necessary for operation. The bowl, the baffle, the scraper, the baffle clip, and the cover. Be sure to remove the protective film from the cover before use. Place the bowl in the machine and rotate until it drops into place. The scraper inserts into the baffle like so, directly under the probe. When these pins enter these two holes, the baffle will be locked in place with the scraper bent forward towards the front of the unit. The baffle clip slides into place like so in order to keep unmelted chocolate from escaping the bowl. Plug the machine into a standard 110 volt outlet and it will power on. To avoid damage to your scraper, it is recommended that your bowl be primed for the first few uses. Take a small piece of unmelted chocolate like so and simply rub it on the inside of the bowl. This will ensure a smooth startup. Place your desired amount of chocolate behind the baffle and select the chocolate type by pressing and holding the S button until your desired chocolate type flashes. In this case, we are working with milk chocolate. The Mini Rev operates best using chocolates that are 60% cocoa mass or below. Place the cover over the bowl to prevent heat from escaping during the melt cycle. As the bowl rotates, melted chocolate will pool over the probe reporting to the microprocessor card the chocolate's temperature. When the desired temperature is reached, the S button will flash and beep, at which time you will place seed chocolate behind the baffle and press that button. After some time has elapsed, the machine will indicate that your chocolate has cooled to the proper temperature and is ready with a series of loud beeps as the S button flashes. Remove any remaining seed chocolate and press the S button. At this time, your chocolate is ready for use. For cleanup, ChocoVision recommends hand washing all external components. When cleaning the baffle, it is important to use lukewarm water, not hot water, as hot water will likely corrupt the probe, rendering it inaccurate. Use the provided baffle brush to clean all hard to reach areas on the baffle. 